G'day guys, it's Galvin from the Cartoon Company in New Zealand. I've got another loom in front of me, just another, just yet another loom. This is one of the looms that people have said, hey, you haven't done one like this, or I can't find one like this. It's, it's an old, early, Gen 1, uh, UCF 10, UCF 11 Celsius. Same thing as an LS400 anyway. Um, of course, Alex Binder can be left hand or right hand drive. It's the one with the, the plug right off the end. We've got the three, one, two, three. Yeah, and then we've got this plug upside down off to the side. Um, I often get asked whether you need that plug. Well, that's where some of the power feeds for the ECU are. The others are in here. There's some in there. There's not a whole lot in there, but there are some. ECU number is upside down, but. 89661 50102 up to about oh not far after that they went to the next version but um everything under 100 certainly is that design so we've got these really distinctive plugs by the ecu this is the main one actually this has got uh, with this particular job it's going to be a manual Main starter power, which starter trigger, cores and injectors. Some diagnostic ignition, That's, that one's easy. That one will be coming out. And that one's got some transmission. Start inhibit, maybe that hydraulic fan, that one's coming out. So those two will be disappearing. We'll be left with just that one. I think I've actually got that plug now. So I can make it just plug into that. We'll see. If I, or I cut that off. This one's got the start start loom that goes into the starter motor. Um, we're a little bit messed up here. Just get that out of the way. There's the battery connection. Comes down. This would normally be bolted up under the chassis rail. That's an earth. Sorry. And this is normally bolted to the block. Oh, is that? Is that on the block, guys, or is it that front um, engine mount? Well, it goes to the block area anyway. And then this comes around the back of the engine. And we come down here and we plug into the engine harness here. That's your main feed into your starter motor. There's your two knock sensors and your start trigger. So I'm going to be making a new one of those. So for the moment, I'm just going to get rid of it. We've got this very distinctive fitting that goes through the firewall. Transmission loom. Very, very early start inhibit. Extra speed sensor. So that goes to the dash. That's the trans, uh, it goes to the ECU. And a six pin solenoid plug. So no temperature sensor in that transmission. Because there's no temp sensor in the transmission. Often you'll find they don't select top gear if you're keeping it as an auto until the engine is heated up because the ECU is locking you out of overdrive. This one being Celsius has got single wire oxygen sensors. And it's got this piece that comes along to the airflow meter. And this is actually one of the better ones I've seen. It's not all crispy. Often that goes really crispy. Need an oxygen sensor wire. Here's our traction. That's going. That's leaving. One of these plugs is uh, traction control and one of them is throttle position. So the traction control one will leave. Normal stuff, broken coil plug. So I'll get some new injector plugs for it. I'm gonna change this. This is actually gonna run through here and pop out. Igniters. Blue little uh, sticker. One, two, three is the big number. Um, 89621 12 which is not Celsia, that's actually a, like a Starlet or something 010 so Toyota did use those from different models and I'm glad the plugs aren't broken because I don't have those connectors on these early 123 igniters right, translucent loom out 
throw some stuff through here, put some new plugs on it, give it a refab, make it a manual, and add some relays and fuses. Oh, look, there's a traction control. That's traction control there. So that's really easy to get rid of. Pretty much from this point, it's all the same stuff that we see every other loom I do. I pull it apart, I change some coverings, put some braid on it, change some connectors, put it all back together, modified, ready to go in a conversion. I've got some work to do, and we'll come back at the other end of this and uh, see what I've done. Well, I've finished down through here, and come through, get them braided and the new plugs, and the new connectors down there. So that's all done. Purge solenoid plug, you don't have to run that, uh, but it's not gonna hurt it if you leave it in and it's not plugged in, no feedback. In this department, I actually put a little bit of rubber back in that wraps around, and I've come down here. I'm gonna make a decision whether I run this plug or I cut it off and put a different one on, because I need to make a new knock sensor loom that goes underneath. A bit of tape through here, it'll get some split sleeve. And now I'm left with this stuff around the ECU weather. The important stuff happens. It's really important to go through the looms. I find little nasties. I found some split wires on the back of injector plugs. Uh, the crank angle sensor plug going the, the six pin by number one injector. There was some ugliness there. And that's a big problem that I see that people miss. And then they put them in the car and they don't run right. So I try to check all those and get those right. This one's gone pretty well so far. Um, I've got this wiring loom. I've got old yellow. That goes under the plenum. I went and took the aftermarket order speed off it, back to the standard one, and then I went, oh, I need to take this off anyway. So I'm going to buzz that off. I'm going to fit up that loom. I found a little start loom. No, no I didn't. I found a front crank loom that will uh, be used for my test. But this particular job is getting plugged into the factory one. These are the igniters for this job, so I will use those. I will test those because they came with the setup. That's the ECU. Of course, it's that one. Yep. And I've got the relays and fuses. I'm going to do some assembly and make all this go and see if it runs. So of course, UZ looms are very, very easy to fit. Um, it possibly helps that I, I do it like all day, every day. But if you have the attitude that it's easy to fit, then it's easy to fit, you know? And there's a couple of earths at the back, make sure you put those on. It goes out to the igniters and the airflow meter. And as I said, we will be using the igniters from this engine. Them ones. It's coming into the starter motor. Is this loom. And you can see I haven't fitted this loom, but this, this is what goes in there. Um, unfortunately, Old Yeller actually has the correct loom, and we use the same plug on all of them, makes it really, really simple. As you can see, we've got the diagnostic box, which would normally mount up here. We're getting right in there, yep. And the idle speed right there. 
and this one is for the fan um, and if we we want to make that longer we just start oh no these ones isn't this one doesn't get longer this one if we want to put a fan switch on we'll need to build a little extension so I might make one of those as well Over in the ECU department, really simple. One, two, three. This is my diagnostic, so I'll be putting on the scan tool. This one here, CEL, check engine light. The taco is that one, oil pressure, and the H2O. So H2O is water. Of course, coming from the water sensor, the single wire one right here. Oil pressure. Got this little loom here. It's got plugs and connectors. And this wire gets cut off. This would normally go to the hydraulic fan. And the blue yellow gets connected and goes to the oil pressure switch. That's on the, the front crank loom. And this wire here, out of the front crank loom. This one. And she goes. And this one. Powered up. Oh, I better put a connector on there. That's going to go to the battery. And then we've got fuel pump. Is that one? On there. This is fan output. This is the ignition in. And this is start input. That's all it takes to make it go. It is that easy. The loom is fitted. Excellent. That's excellent news. I've also been doing some uh, battery cabling. So we go from the battery to the fuse box, the little fuse box, this little fuse, goes to there, this one goes across to the alternator, that one goes down to the battery, and that one goes to the alternator with a round plug, round plug alternator. So that's easy. Now to make this go, I'm rum! It's a lot of cabling. Okay, so that, this is really simple to get going. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this, just wait. We good? Yeah, yeah. The earmuffs. Ignition. This one's for the fan. This is for the broom broom. Well, 
Am I being smelly? You're being smelly. The odor, the, 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 the uh, reduction of petrol doesn't smell so good. Yeah. Hey, you know what else I smell like? I've got a slight hint of lanolin and sheep shit. Oh, you've been resting your sheep? I've been playing sheep this morning. Christmas roast is due today. They were meant to be yesterday. They got an extra day. That's today. So I got them in early and now I'm smelling a little bit floral. Mm. And this actual, um, I didn't put the small injectors in. So this is an early ECU. And it's running on the bigger injectors, so it's a bit fumy. Right. Makes sense, eh? Right, cool. I'm happy. I'm going to put it in a box and send it away.